Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to see how we can get to know the amount of fees accrued by a particular position in Uniswap V3. Okay. So for that, you can come over to app.uniswap.org and in that you can, you can click on explore on pools and then you can select a particular pool up right here and in transaction search for an ad transaction and click up right here. You will be redirected to etherscan. So this is not an ad. You can go to the, another one. Okay. So as you can see, this is a Uniswap P3 ad. Here basically what's happening is user is minting a Uniswap P3 position and adding liquidity. You can click over to this NFT up right here and you will be here in our uh, Etherscan page. So to collect this, uh, see the amount of fees accrued. I have created a code up right here as you can see. So this code link will be in the description. You can go over there and copy it if it's needed. So let's see what the code does. So it has a function which takes four parameters. The first one is NFT ID and the owner of the position, the RPC of a particular network. In this case, uh, we are going to take uh, Ethereum RPC and non-fungible position manager. So using that, using Ethers, we are going to create a provider instance by passing the RPC and we are going to create non-fungible position manager instance. So why this is needed? because this is the contract which means the nfts to the users on adding liquidity okay so we are going to need that and inside try catch block what we are doing is we are calling collect function so what this collect function does is it actually collects the amount of fees accrued by position so where the magic lies is in static call so using static call it's not going to directly make a transaction call to our mainnet Instead, it's going to execute in a virtual environment such that the state change is not being made and we are actually calling it without any transaction fees. Okay, so let's see what are the parameters it takes. It takes four parameters. The first one is token ID, the second being owner and amount zero max and amount one max. So what these two specify is that it specifies the amount of fees of both the tokens which you want to collect. So it's not the uh, amount of fees to collect. It's the maximum amount of fees which you want to collect okay if this much amount is there it will collect this much if not the amount which is there it will collect at that okay so one more important thing is from owner so we want to uh, when other user call a collect function on any other token id right it's going to fail because only owner can call collect function of that uh, on that uh, nft id okay so what we are going to do is we are going to specify from as owner it means that non-fungible position manager will think we are the owner of the contract of the token ID. Okay, so this is how it works. And after that, it returns the amount zero accrued and amount one accrued. So as you can see, I'm passing a particular token ID which I got from here. And you can take any token ID. This is a different one maybe. And after that, the owner owner address you can directly get up right here using this well, this okay. And after that, we can have to pass RPC. I'm using ENV, okay, using .env. You can pass Alchemy URL or Infura, Morales or whatever you want to use. And after that, non-fungible position manager address. So where you will get this is in the deployments page. So this, uh, this will be linked in the description. You can come up right here and you can take the non-fungible position manager address of any network, which is specified in the official documentation of, it, uh, of uh, Uniswap, okay? So come up right here, let's run this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do node index.js so that our node file runs, our JS file runs actually, and node index.js. So let's see what it does. As you can see, it returned the amount of amount zero and amount one of tokens which are being accrued as fees. Okay, so this is how you can do that. You can just remove static call if you want to directly collect it. Okay, so this code link will be in the description. So this is it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more updates. Thank you for watching.